Determining how to market your home and how to price your home has such a huge impact on what you ultimately will get. The experience is I had uh, clients looking for a home. We were looking at several different homes. We went back and forth. We decided to go in on a offer um, on a home that was holding back offers. So we were under the assumption um, that we were going to uh, go into a multiple offer situation. So we generated a couple of ideas of price ranges. I shared all of the comps in the market, the comparables. So they were well educated and knew exactly what other homes and what similar homes have just sold for recently. So we had a good idea of uh, the market value of the home. So we registered the offer, but we didn't uh, submit a offer until um, five o'clock was the registration. Six o'clock uh, was the deadline. So by five o'clock, we would know how many offers um, were coming in and we could uh, set it that way. So, you know, I, we knew that the ask price uh, of the home was below market value. That was clear that it looked like their strategy was to go back and hold offers and get multiple offers and go over. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that um, for this exact reason. So there were no offers other than ours. So uh, we went in at full ask with no conditions, nice and firm offer, nice and clean. Um, and it wasn't accepted because it was below market value. So, you know, they signed it back and we ended up getting a, a deal out of it. And I think my clients got a, a pretty good um, price for the home. It actually, in my estimation, was a little bit below market value, which is the first time I've seen a home sell below market value in a while. So, you know, that firmed up and it was okay, it's time to sell their home. So there were still some things that needed to uh, get completed. Um, they were running out of time and we did buy a house. So um, we scheduled to have a painter to come in and do some painting. We we're going to do some staging photos and it was going to take about a week and a half. So I said, suggested to them, look, why don't we just list this home exclusively? I won't put it on MLS. You know, this is what the market value is on the home. What would you be acceptable with the price? So that was the price uh, we listed that. The next day we had a showing and that night we had uh, a firm offer full ask. It shows you that having a fixed strategy is never a, a good idea. Things can change. You can be adaptable, um, but pricing a home right to begin with will determine so you know my my clients are obviously super happy they're they are a young family they have two small kids and a cat and if they were going to have 50 showings they were going to be out of the house all the time and every time they had to go out of the house they had to bring the cat and the kids and sit, uh, sit out on the road and wait for the showing so to only have the inconvenience of one showing um to not even r really have to stage the home um or or do any of the painting so, you know, from their end, it was a very easy transaction. I think they got a great to price for their home. So again, they are very happy uh, clients. And this, this is just one example of the things that we do uh, at the Mark Jensen team to satisfy our customers and how we get our clients the best price for their home as quick as possible with the least amount of hassle. So if this interests you, send me a message. You can uh, message me through Facebook. You can text me or call me at 416-721-8002. Again, give me a call. If you're thinking about uh, selling or buying, we can uh, get you the best deals uh, out there and find them with the least amount of hassle from your end. That's it for this week. 